I am John Storms. Today we are going to fix my uh, Cat5 connector. So this guy has been outside all year and uh, as expected he has corroded. Especially like that third pin in from the right. It's actually bent down. Corrosion is not extreme <coughs> but it is pretty bad. Is I'm going to remove this one and then I have a little kit here that I bought all ticks that uh, I will use three. Just take this guy and I just pop off the old one. Just come off. And I need some room to work, so I'm going to strip the other case off a little bit. And we'll Alright, so I got the outer casing off. And so what you have here with a Cat5 wire, or Cat5e, is you have four pairs. Okay, you got a green pair, orange, brown, and blue. And one is solid and the other is striped. Okay. And this female jack is, and this is the one I really need. You'll see that there are those little markings. See that? That's your color guide. And what I'm looking to do is I want to hook it up so that it's straight through. So I believe I want to do A. <clears throat> I usually go with, there's an A set and a B set. There's two different ways to do it. So if I'm doing it A and you're looking at this, then up here these two are going to be brown and brown stripe. And then this one right here is going to be green and green stripe, then orange and orange stripe, and then blue and blue stripe. So I just need to push those down. So what I have to do is I take these wires and you don't even strip them. Alright, you don't strip these wires, you just, ugh, I dropped it. And this is brown and brown strip, so I find my brown. And I like to keep the twist on them as much as I can because the twist is the noise cancelling properties of the Cat5 wire. Brown on this side, strip on this side, I take the little punch down tool and it just pushes it down. I don't know where I get this punch down tool. Sometimes you get the little tiny ones with the sets. This little kit I bought is like $350. More expensive ones are like seven bucks. More expensive ones probably come with a punch down tool. And this next one is green. So I have green and then green stripe. I'm going with the A configuration. Set right at the top. Get the punch down tool. Push it down. And by pushing it down, it, there's little teeth that it bites into. Okay, this one is blue and blue stripe. Stripe, punch down the blue, and almost every one of these kits comes with the markings built in, so you don't even have to remember what the standards are. Okay, orange stripe going down, and last but not least. thing I want to do is I want to test it. So I have this Ethernet tester and what you do is you plug one side into this side, but plug this into here and this generates a signal and you plug this side into the other side of the cable and it reads the signal. And if it's good you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this side into here. So he is generating a signal. So now I'm going to take this one indoors and we'll plug him in. We'll see if the signal's right. Of course, this one cable goes over there where the phone goes in into the master. 
through the patch panel. And then the master, I got a Cat5 cable that comes out over here in the garage. And this is where I set the show computer. So now I take the other end of the tester, plop them in. And look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that tells me that all everything is wired up properly. Now I'm not transmitting light or ROM or anything like this, but this is just verifying that the cabling itself is physically working. That's it.